The 30 inch pizza all started with some planning in the advance to get hungry by the time I first wake up on this particular day, which is now June 3. I have looked it up in the phone book so I can find out what the number is. The next thing I need to do is make use of this to go call the number. Ready? Here it goes. Number dialed, and now to place the order. <coughs> yeah, I'd like to order your 30 inch pizza. It'll be for carry out. First name Nick, last name Smith. Well, I want nothing but cheese. Just cheese on it? Yep, nothing but cheese. Alright, anything else for you? Uh, that should be it. What? Nope. So just pizza is all yep, and uh, does that 30 inch pizza come in a box? Yeah, yeah, we have, a, we have our own like 30 inch box. Oh, okay. Yep, okay, that's what I wanted to check. Total is gonna be forty one ninety two and we'll probably have it ready for you in about a half hour then, okay? Forty one ninety two is the total, okay, and about a half hour. Yeah, maybe twenty minutes, half hour. Yeah, it's kind of off time for pizza at the moment, being eight forty one. What's that? It's kind of off time for pizza right now since it's eight forty one, so it I wouldn't expect it to take long, unlike four PM and the like. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good time. Okay. Okay. Right, Bye. And with that, the pizza is now ordered. So, what is this thing going to be like? I'll get to find out very soon. This is such a monster of a pizza that I literally had to put it in the back of the vehicle instead of the usual front area that it's normally done. Just look at the width of the vehicle here and look at the width of that box. Such a huge difference. It's almost ridiculous. That's 30 inch, by the way, plus extra for the box. Now, degreasing this is going to be another subject. Don't believe me that this is 30 inch? Well, those are 12 inch rulers right there. Surely enough, that is definitely 30 inch for sure. Just to give you a closer look. That is only one inch pretty much right there. It's not exactly right, but that is a monster. And that's not all. What does it look like? Get rid of those. Open it up. And here you have it. This is the biggest pizza I have ever had. So, the next step is degreasing it. For that, I need my paper towels. Of course, I'm not optimally set up for this. Notice that I use Bounty, but that's because they're very good at soaking up grease and stuff like that. This part is nothing new. I will be posting a degreasing video at some later point. All I do is I just put it on here and just start dabbing. Look at all that stuff already soaking through. And you have to remember, that was two layers thick. Two layers thick. 
and this is what's soaking up. This don't even look to be the worst spot. That over there looks to be kind of pretty bad for grease. This will go on for about a good half hour, if not more. Just remember, It took me four and a half total days to eat this whole pizza. This is after four days worth at it, and this is what I still have left. Boy, this is almost just too much for me to handle, and a little bit more than I was expecting. I guess, for now, I'll definitely stick with my 24-inch limit.